next speaker will be Mr. Andy Singh, General Manager of Cortronic Intelligent Robotics Corporation. Mr. Singh will talk about the rise and future of autonomous and unmanned vehicles in 5G smart cities and factories. So without further ado, please welcome Mr. Singh. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you to join us in this uh, lovely afternoon. Um, I'm the, um, I'm, my name is Andy Xing. I'm the president of the CRRC. stands for uh, Electronic Robotic Corporation. Um, today, I will just show you two of our major product, what we're doing with the 5G. Uh, we, our major product, one is the eight, uh, one is a drone, smart drone. And uh, everybody likes to put a smart on the front, so make your product looks more sharp. So smart drone and the AMR. So I will just uh, show you some information that how we just using and uh, utilize the 5G to make our product more bright. Okay, so these are two sections I'm going through from, from uh, starting about a drone. Uh, first, uh, I have to let you believe that a drone is the most popular and the blooming business in the world. Uh, bloom, uh, you may see that some data here is a uh, drone actually have a steady uh, yearly growth rate. And more than that, uh, right now, uh, still a little bit of constraint, uh, uh, regulation constraint about uh, the drone uh, 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 applied in certain area in the field. But the good news is you may see there are several countries, including like the USA, including like uh, Japan, they are more welcomed to make the regulation more clear and loosen up for the regulation and the ban up list. So that means uh, in the near future, I suppose in the year 2022, a lot of regulation will be opened up and the lead drone have a more freedom to serve in the world. And uh, uh, the good news, you may see that we put uh, several uh, uh, different uh, area. Uh, the good news is Asia actually is the most popular uh, area to, to uh, develop for the drone because a uh, lot of application, including like uh, agriculture, including like uh, in, uh, inspection, and a lot of countries in Asia, for example, like China and Japan, uh, we have a very good chance to apply a drone for this uh, different area and the different uh, application. Okay, so back to the uh, 5G. What 5G, how 5G help for the drone? Uh, everybody know that the benefit for the 5G, so I will not repeat about that. I can quickly to let you know uh, what a drone, uh, drone can do for the job. Actually, you can consider it for the inspection job. Drone is a super, super surveillance. It can move mobily in 3D way to show everywhere to watch anything you want. So the, good, the key thing is uh, how you can get uh, a very good quality picture and you can transcend the picture and the image efficiently and real time to pass to any screen that your team, no matter they're using a mobile phone, they're using a plate, they can easily watch that. That is a very important thing. And the good things that we use because of the 5G uh, join the world and the new era come up. So you may see that uh, because of this reason, uh, right now, we can use in a drone to deliver wirelessly, remotely. You can send the information back to your control room in thousands of miles away we immediately. Very low latency and a very quick way to send the things and make you help you to do the AI recognition. You can use in an Im image to analysis what the information you want. Okay, that is a fabulous thing, and you can use an ultra high. Uh, ultra has a high definition information to share and the collaboration to do the job to, to make a finally you can provide the value added data service. That is the major purpose we want to deliver. Um, let me make that more specifically. Okay, because of this reason, you may see that the high data ratio, uh, usually we can deliver a real time image from far away to let you show in the control room we can only deliver 720p. I know that nobody happy about 720p right now. Everybody wanted a 4K, everybody wanted a 1080p. The good news, 5G joining right now, our drone, uh, he can just uh, to supply their mission and they can deliver you, use a very good the 4K upload information to no matter serve in your cloud uh, storage or share the information out. And the low latency, cause uh, usually we will have a few seconds delay so the image you see very far from uh, your um, uh, mission area, 
uh, you will see the image maybe delay for five, even 10 seconds. But right now, we are talking about the things is the low latency is a milliseconds. Um, how do they can, can feel the difference that uh, what you see right now in the screen and what really happened in the destination area? And the, the last thing is a multi connection because the usual way that you can share the information with a very limited connection. But the good thing is that because 5G join in, uh, we can share that no matter in the control room and also can share out for everybody uh, which will be authorized to join the network so can quickly receive the information. So this is also popular right now to our, all our customers. And because of this season, we can achieve the wireless remote, we can uh, achieve the advanced recognition and also for the high D, uh, ultra, ultra HD uh, solution to everybody. So uh, in short, uh, I think the 5G right now make the whole uh, drone service to the world to the new, new level in uh, all our technology. Okay, um, this is the other thing that we're using the structure to show why drone have a different uh, uh, um, achievement right now. Uh, in the right hand side, you may see this is a traditional way. Uh, you may see maybe you buy the DJI drone uh, uh, in the shop, and the lady, right now they may be using, using the radio frequency 2.4 uh, or 5.8 G radio frequency. The only one can sh see is a pilot on his remote. But uh, right now, because uh, uh, the 5G happened, uh, our drone, they can deliver pass by the 4G, LT, or 5G to pass the information to the cloud, to the uh, uh, fleet management system in the cloud. And the cloud will share the information to all required department. So you can sit in the control room, or you can use in different device to watch the information immediately. And uh, the more, and uh, the better way is, uh, right now we applied the uh, advanced, uh, the full autonomous solution. Right now, uh, the main thing is that you don't need to have a real pilot to a uh, real time to control the drone. You can schedule the things. You can schedule your drone come out, take off, and uh, uh, fulfill your mission uh, based on the time frame you want, and he can get back and uh, back to the station, recharging by itself. This is something we so-called a uh, full autonomous. The good thing is you don't have the pe any people or any person to stick on the screen and watch out everything. He can record that, he can do the job, and put it in the storage, you can do that and you get the information any time you want. And uh, this is a lot of uh, technology got involved, but we are happy that we get all things done. So you may see that this is the charging station, so drone can uh, locate it in a very remote area, high mountain, really cold area. You don't need the people to on site to check for that. He can just afford to, to process the mission by itself. This is what we so defined autonomous things, and uh, uh, we are happy to say that we already achieved this target. Uh, this is the, the whole the scenario that how we just do the job. Uh, probably in a control room, one day before you run a mission, you can put down your schedule to the whole the control pad, say tomorrow morning, uh, 8 o'clock, you can start in to take off the flight. And you have to move to, and uh, uh, when time's coming, the drone will take off on schedule and uh, just move to the right destination you want. And he will just process the routine mission by your wish, okay? So you may see that he can take uh, all the picture and the things and uh, immediately check all things, no matter you want to do the security job, you want to check the facility is safe or not after the typhoon or something, you will get the information you want. And you're going to pass to the cloud by 5G and get all information down. And after that, John also can dynamically to run different project. So he can just uh, run in for, uh, if uh, he got uh, any kind of duty call to check the front, uh, front door is any kind of suspicious car, he can check that immediately and also deliver the message to you. Do the real time job. Again, that is 5G. You need the 5G to do the real time job. And after that, the pilot will take over. If uh, you need, the, because of the 5G, we can have the command. Anytime your control room of people can step in the control, he can take over the job and see that what the mission he want and send up the command by 5G and anytime precisely to run the job. After that, he will just precisely auto landing on the station and finish the charging and waiting for next mission. This is what we signal we plan to do. Okay, so uh, more specifically, what kind of service we can have? 
uh, you may see that uh, this is a several uh, application we already applied to our customers and uh, happy to know that the most of them think that we can do a good job in this section. No matter it's the uh, slope land disaster prevention, uh, you, especially in Taiwan, uh, every like uh, uh, Q2 or Q3, there's a typhoon season, heavy rain. So this is also very important. We're working with the, a lot of government department to help to maintain that and make sure safe traffic may happen. And also have a transportation. Uh, right now we're working with the one uh, biggest uh, the Japan uh, e-commercial company to do the deliver things. First the stage we deliver the product to the uh, island, to the high mountain area, or a remote area. And I believe that very soon we were going to move to the next stage that can deliver things to the urban area, urban area or downtown city. So uh, it is not kind of imagination or kind of a fancy talk, but you have a very good chance that they can receive your things, your food or your product, not only by the uh, Food Panda or, or, or kind of a, a Uber Eats, you can receive that from drone. The third thing is a tower inspection. This is also good uh, the, the, for the inspection for the facility. And also we can see that uh, for the uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, land uh, migration, this is also a kind of a, a disaster may happen. We can do the prevention. And the oil pollution, we can use in a spectral spectrum to a spectrum uh, detector to check that. This is what we do for the Kaohsiung Harbor, uh, because a lot of uh, uh, you know the ship were going to have a, uh, send out a kind of oil on the water. That is a serious uh, heavy uh, pollution may happen. But uh, we are uh, help them and successfully can just detect the pollution area and how the things to do. They will take over that. So uh, this is a continued project we are doing. And also bridge check. This is also a very popular uh, 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 inspection that we should receive the requirement. Okay, so uh, here I just show you that uh, what we're really working with. Uh, uh, we are very happy that the last year, uh, uh, the Taiwan the first uh, starting for the 5G. Uh, we're working with the Zhonghua Telecom and uh, to put uh, the TELUS uh, 5G module inside and uh, show that uh, no, no latency and uh, the full 4K image in front to our president. This is something that we are proud to say that uh, we successfully make the job done. And uh, whoop, uh, let me see. And the uh, next thing is uh, we also working with the, um, I think working with the IDB of so a smart city uh, 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 project. You may see that, that we using the picture to for the, like a Mudan Dam. This is located in the, in the, in the, uh, south of Taiwan, so we can check that any kind of a uh, disaster happen and uh, build up the modeling and uh, send all the info, uh, historical information share on that. They can watch closely to measure about it. And uh, this is a Dawu fishing port uh, in the Taitong. So the thing is, uh, you may see this is a port. So this is the inlet of the ship. So usually the ship will go here, but the best thing is that uh, the sealed will happen and create in this area every year. So they have to do the job to remove the silt and the see that. And we can use in a drone to watch that and define when the silt had come out and what is the size we have to be removed. So they have a precisely uh, job uh, planning in advance. Uh, so this is also a successful project we're doing for a small city. Okay. So above is about a drone. So I quickly finish, uh, share with you that. And uh, uh, if you got any kind of a new uh, uh, information share with me. We are happy to talk with you after the meeting. And then the next stage, you are talking about uh, AMR. AMR actually have a three stage. The early stage is what the so called AMR, using the kind of physical way to lead for the drone. So you may see that they put a kind of tape, they use a trail on the, on the ground and to lead for that. This is the um, old type of way, it's like a, a, a first stage. And the second stage, you use the optical way. You use input a kind of a barcode or something to remind the machine, say, hey, you have to take a turn right now in this corner. And uh, this is the first stage. Uh, we are happy to say that right now, what we apply is the LiDAR SLAM. LiDAR SLAM can, firstly, you have to show, the, to put the uh, 3D modeling things based on the AMR and put the whole modeling into the computer inside. 
uh, by 5G for the kind of uh, uh, private 5G system in the, in the, for the manufacturing site. And he, once you record that, and uh, when you wake up the drone, uh, the, sorry, the AMR, he can easily to identify the position and uh, get the job done. Okay, everybody can see that this is uh, exactly what we're doing for the uh, several factory. This is we're doing for the one of the um, this is iron factory that he sent, sent all the things. You may see he can doing not only indoors but outdoors. He can just smoothly run in that, no hesitate and no check, and he's very quickly to do that. And uh, the other thing is a kind of a this is a. Uh, mobile transportation car. So again, no trail, no kind of a secondary identification. He can easily find a way to park in and uh, get the thing down. Uh, we are happy with working with uh, several major factory and uh, uh, logistics center and the private system right now. Okay. So it is a very, very uh, smooth move. You can see that in this uh, whole e video. And uh, also we're doing for a lot of things because of the 5G join, we can send the information, build up mode and send it to the own, uh, central control center to do the job. You may see that you can just, uh, not only the, the, the traditional pattern you see, you can use in a special, this kind of a cage, can stack it precisely, okay, full automatically. And also a lot of things, no matter you put it at the right position or not, he can just adjust it by himself. I think I, see I got the limited time, so um, I have to cut it right now. But you may see that uh, he can just uh, check any kind of obstacle things in a position. He'll stop and waiting for you to remove the, all the obstacle and uh, continue the job. Okay. So even this padded, uh, you may see that it's not on the right position. He can also do the job by camera and the 3D light down to get the thing down. Okay. Uh, this is the free measurement things. I, I don't know why this picture cannot uh, working um, properly, but anyhow, we just show you that uh, we have the machine planning things also by the control center using the private 5G to do the job, can run in for all details. And the five, maybe like a 20 uh, drone, uh, sorry, 20 AMR and the running for like a, a five or 10 field at the same time, it was just a, uh, everybody can locate uh, the machine and uh, set up priority by itself. Okay, so um, I just quickly to say that uh, uh, I think the 5G gives us a lot of uh, a good uh, potential to see that in the future, no matter uh, it is a drone or MR, and uh, we are happy to working with all things. The good thing is that we're working with the uh, KD, not only in uh, uh, Yuan Chan and also for the Zhonghua Telecom, and uh, we also have a, a strategic lead with the KDDI, LGU Plus in the worldwide. And uh, I, I continuously receive the requirement uh, from a different country. I think uh, the 5G is a very good uh, the, um, supporting uh, device and also a very good solution for us to provide for the next stage uh, the smart city 2.0 or the smart factory and the smart logistic. Again, uh, the, um, thank you for your time and your attention. Uh, this is Andy Xing, and, uh, and I hope that you can give me uh, any input after the meeting. Thank you very much. And thank you, Mr. Shane, for introducing autonomous drones and mobile robots and their uses and applications in 5G-enabled smart cities.